All right, going to do a video exposing the fact that Islam actually allows stealing and theft from non-Muslims. So essentially, they allow the sin of theft, the sin of stealing from you if you're a non-Muslim, just because you're a non-Muslim. That's Islam for you. Uh, further showing the fact that Islam is of the devil. But here are some texts in the Quran which actually give grounds for stealing and uh, basically thieving, engaging in thieving type activities against non-Muslims. This is uh, Quran chapter 8, verse 69. It says, So consume who you have taken of war booty as a lawful and good, and fear Allah. Indeed, Allah is forgiving and merciful. So he'll pardon your sin as long as you do it to the non-Muslims. Because Islam does say that you can't steal, but if you're doing it to the non-Muslims, I guess that's the exception to the rule or something like that. Yeah. Uh, Quran 48, verse 20, it says, Allah has promised you much uh, much booty that you will take in the future and has hastened you for this victory and withheld the, the hands of people from you that it may be a sign for the believers and he may guide you to a straight path. Nice. Uh, this is uh, Quran 33 verse 27. It says, and he caused you to inherit their land, uh, he caused you to inherit their land, sorry, and their homes and their properties and land which you have not trodden and ever is Allah over all things competent. So, they take your land, take your property, and Allah blesses this type of theft. Yeah, again, Islam is of the of the devil. Obviously, Islam is the spirituality of Ishmael, and how is Ishmael described as a wild man in Genesis sixteen, verse eleven to twelve? Okay, well, then what does the Word of God, the Bible, say about theft? Uh, it actually condemns theft in all cases, regardless of who it's against. Unlike the unholy, blasphemous Islamic Quran. It says in uh, Exodus chapter 20, verse 15 to 17, Thou shalt not steal, thou shalt not bear false witness against thy neighbor, thou shalt not covet thy neighbor's house, thou shalt not covet thy neighbor's wife, nor his manservant, nor his maidservant, nor his ox, nor his ass, nor anything that is thy neighbor's. I think Muhammad, the false prophet of Islam, violated that several times when he would sleep with multiple women and would, you know, steal other people's wives and everything else. And yeah, you know, further showing that Islam uh, is started by demonic influence by a false prophet. Leviticus 19, verse 11 to 13, ye shall not steal, neither deal falsely, neither lie one to another, and ye shall not swear by my name falsely, neither shalt thou profane the name of thy God, I am the Lord. Thou shalt not defraud thy neighbor, neither rob him. The wages of him that is hired shall not abide with thee all night until the morning. Clear as day. There's no exceptions. Well, you know, if you're taking the property of, of the, of the, uh, infidels or whatever. No, there's no exception to that. Theft is wrong. Thou shalt not steal. Without exception. Jeremiah 7, verse 9 to 11. What, uh, will you steal, murder, and commit adultery, and swear falsely, and burn incense unto Baal, and walk after other gods whom ye, he, whom ye know not, and come and stand before me in this house, which is called by my name, and say, we are delivered to do all these abominations? Is this house, which is called by my name, become a dead become a den of robbers in your eyes. Behold, even I have seen it, saith the Lord. Interesting, verse 9 kind of describes Muhammad. Will you steal, murder, and commit adultery, and swear falsely? Precisely what Muhammad did. You would have thought that Jeremiah, the prophet Jeremiah, was almost kind of foreshadowing the coming of Muhammad in that rebuke right there. The false prophet of Islam that he was. Uh, Muhammad, then, um, who I'm referring to. Uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 9-11 to 11, Know ye not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of God, be not deceived, neither fornicators, nor idolaters, that was Muhammad with his Arabian moon idol, nor adulterers, nor effeminate, nor abusers of themselves of mankind, also Muhammad, uh, nor thieves, again, Muhammad, nor covetous, nor drunkards, nor violers, nor extortioners, shall inherit the kingdom of God. And such were some of you, but ye are washed, but ye are sanctified, but ye are justified in the name of the Lord Jesus, and by the Spirit of our God. See, uh, theft will prevent you from entering the kingdom of God. In uh, the life of a Christian, the kingdom of God is spiritual fellowship with God. Romans 14, 17. And theft is one of the things that will keep you out of fellowship with God. Uh, 1 Peter chapter 4, verse 15, 15 to 16. But let none of you suffer as a murderer, or as a thief, or as an evildoer, or as a busybody in other men's matters. Yet if any man suffer as a Christian, let him not be ashamed, but let him glorify God on this behalf. Again, you know, a lot of times they'll say, oh, rising Islamophobia. Well, in many cases, their own behavior is what causes it. You know, it says, let none of you suffer as a murderer, or as a thief, or as an evildoer. You know, you can apply this to the Muslims too, where, you know, they're only suffering because, you know, and I'm not condoning that. I'm not condoning, you know, persecution, but, you know, Islamophobia is often caused by their type of Ishmaelite activities. 
Ephesians 4:28 Let him that stole steal no more but rather let him labor work let, let rather let him labor working with his hands a thing which is good that he may have to give to him that needeth let him that stole steal no more but rather, rather let him labor I don't think uh, robbing caravans and all this other stuff applies there or is you know is it kind of the exception there whatever you know but of course if you're an, if you're a muslim you'd say well the bible's been corrupted and the quran is the final revelation of allah well he definitely is it definitely is the final revelation of allah because allah is not jehovah allah is an arabian moon idol see allah is the arabian moon idol you know that was worshipped by the meccans which muhammad adopted into the god of islam islam is the spirituality of ishmael which is who is called a wild man in genesis 16 verse 11 to 12. so i want to show you guys that islam uh, gives grounds and allows for the theft and stealing, the sin of stealing against non-Muslims, further showing that Islam is of the devil. Plain and simple. So anyway, don't be deceived. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye.